Today, we're going to be hearing things that we have never heard about Planet Hill, and we're going to be seeing some things. So, we're going to be reading out of the scriptures, and these are verses, to me, that is describing Planet Hill. And so, we're going to be reading that to you today. With that said, they are shutting down my channel and Truther's channels. They just shut down a channel a couple of days ago, one of my main channels, they have shut down three main channels, you know, within, within the last year, they just shut them all down, you know, and this last one without warrant, they just said channel suspended and they just erased it, you know, because they don't want the videos out there that you're putting out there. They don't want the information as you see what they're doing. They're putting their news channels on there. Now, when you type it in, they putting garbage on there. Uh, they taking everything that we're talking about, about the planetary systems and everything, and they put in garbage videos that them and their associates made to just make a mockery out of the whole thing. But it, it, the time didn't ran out on them. They can do whatever they want to do. We know what's going down, and we know that that planet is out there on the horizon, and basically it is hell, and it is the destroyer. Uh, it has so many names. But it is the end of what we call Earth. Then after it went violent, a red planet was about to hit the Earth. Then when it hit the Earth, demons came out of that red planet. And then they standed. There was there was humans on the other side, and there was and there was and there was hell people on that other side. So on the hell side, Lucifer came out of the crowd. He opened the ground, and then he told all those demons to attack. Everybody was just holding like guns. Some people killed themselves. Some people were holding umbrellas. And some people were just holding pens. After that, like, the people were shooting at the demons. And the demon, and all they, and the demons didn't feel nothing. It just popped right at them right out of their body and backfired right at the people then the then the demon grabbed the grabbed the person and shoved the person down where that crack in hell was and all the demons did that to all the humans these beings were called the anunnaki which means those who from heaven to earth came the anunnaki inhabited a distant orbiting planet called Nibiru, which only entered our solar system every 3,600 years. They described Nibiru as many times the diameter of Earth and abundant with iron oxide making its rivers and lakes appear red. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought, and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Deuteronomy 4.36 Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice, he's talking to Moses, that he might instruct thee. And upon the earth he showed thee his great fire. When he say great fire, that is that planet. It's huge out there. And so when, when Moses is talking to the burning bush, I don't believe that he's talking to the burning bush. I believe he's hearing God's voice through that great fire, that big planet. And thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire. So let's keep going so we can get an understanding. 
Deuteronomy 5.22. These words the Lord spake unto you all your assembly in the mountain of the midst of the fire. Out of the cloud. See? Out of the cloud. And of the thick darkness, which is what? The outermost, which is what? Hell. With a great voice. And he added no more. He wrote them into two tablets of stones and delivered them unto me. So watch this. There's a fire in the midst of a cloud. That's planet hell. What they call Nibiru. You know, planet X. Wormwood. The Destroyer. There's a lot of names. And it came to pass when you heard the voice of, out of the midst of darkness... For the mountain did burn with fire. Right? In parentheses. Deuteronomy 32, 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. God talked out of that fire to me, to Moses. That's what I'm getting out of that. And that fire is planted hell. It ain't just some flame just coming down to earth. It is a big fiery planet. And shall consume the earth. This fire shall consume the earth. So it says a hell is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. That's what the Bible teaches us. With her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. And that's why it said up here for the mountains did burn with fire because that planet came down. Keep going. 2 Samuel twenty two fourteen, The Lord thundereth from heaven and the Most High utter his voice. So uh, all this thundering and stuff that we're hearing from, from outer space or from the heavens, you know, could, could, you know, in fact just be God. Exodus 13, 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud. So here we have that cloud again. See right here. In the midst of the fire of the cloud did God speak. All right? And then now you have God in this cloud and this fire again. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud. Nibiru, planet hell, is in a cloud. You know, to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire. And we see in that big glow that's engulfed in a damn cloud on the horizon to give them light, knowledge, understanding. You know, it's for us, not against us. So it's for, it's to destroy the Gentiles. But if you listen into it, God is talking to Moses out of it. And he giving us light by this fire, I mean, and, 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 and by this cloud, this pillar of smoke to go by day and by night. He took not away the pillar of cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from before the people, which is his people. Right. Numbers 14, 14. And they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. For they have heard that the Lord art among his people, this people, that thou Lord has seen, art seen face to face, and that thy cloud standeth over them, and that thou goest before them by day in a pillar of a cloud, and in a pillar of fire by night. And just like I said, we're we going to see both of those, you know, or we're looking at it. You know, Nehemiah, and, and all of them are saying the same thing. Uh, Nine twelve. Moreover, thou leadest them in the day by a cloudy pillar, and in the night by a pillar of fire to give them light in the way wherein they should go. And so now I don't think it's so literal; it's more spiritual. So when we see that pillar of fire and everything else, it tells us to go straight to the Lord. God, the most high God of Israel and nothing else. So it's still leading us. Genesis 15, 17. And it came to pass that 
when the sun went down, that's on the horizon in the west, that's where you see Nibiru at. At the sun's rising, I showed you that on camera, and the sun's setting. And it was dark. Behold, a smoking furnace. That's it, Nibiru, right there on the horizon. And a burning lamp that passed between those pieces, the sun and the horizon. That's where that big pillar of smoke is. That's where that furnace is. That's where that glow that's pulsating in the night is. Revelation 6, 8. And I looked and behold a pale horse. Why a pale horse? Because red iron oxide is coming down. And it's causing sepsis. It's causing uh, dust pneumonia. It is shutting down the, the body, period. And basically, I believe it is the cause of the fish, the ocean, everything dying off. You know, the birds falling out of air, the whole nine yards. And so God said pestilence was going to come before he rained down a hell from planet hell on everybody. And his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. So his, uh, somebody riding a pale horse on earth and hell underneath is, 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 you know, as he ride, the horse is following him. I doubt that. This is coming from above. Just like the, the burning lamp and everything else is coming from above. Isaiah 28, 18. And your covenant with death shall be a node. And he's talking to the Gentiles. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overwhelming catastrophe passes through, which is the destroyer, planet hell, then you shall be trotted down by it. Job fifteen twenty one, a dreadful sound in his ears. So you keep hearing that dreadful sound and everybody's saying, what is it? The strange noises. In, in prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon them, right? Yes, it will. Not just him, them. Jeremiah 4, 7, and the lion has come up from his thicket. It ain't from earth. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He or it is gone forth from his place to make their land desolate. And, the, and their city shall be laid waste without inhabitants. So he said, all of Edom shall perish, right? For the Lord has spoken it. Nibiru is also called the destroyer in the Colbrin which is an ancient gospel found in Scotland that was omitted from biblical text, much like the Dead Sea Scrolls were. It reads, Men forgot the days of the destroyer. Only the wise know where it went, and that it shall return at the appointed time. The destroyer, its color, bright and fierce and ever-changing, was an unstable appearance, a fierce body of flames. It reads, Men forgot the days of the destroyer. Only the wise know where it went, and that it shall return at the appointed time. The destroyer, its color, bright and fierce and ever-changing, was an unstable appearance, a fierce body of flames. Though stating Nibiru usually passes without causing harm, the tablets describe one cataclysmic event which occurred when Nibiru neared Earth. It says, first, black spots appeared on the sun's surface. The Earth's magnetic field became weaker, the temperature rose and ice caps began melting. This event we call the Deluge, or the Great Flood. It also reads, for days before the day of the deluge, the earth was rumbling, groaning, as if with pain. Deep rumble again. This is video two. It's 9.20 now. It's been going on for 40 minutes. A deep rumble. Appears to be originating from the sky about the eight o'clock position from the sun. Right over in there. At 
times you can almost feel the vibration. For nights before the calamity struck, in the heavens, Nibiru as a glowing star was seen.